I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 29, and let's focus on verses 9 through 11. Then Achish answered and said to David, I know that you are as good in my sight as an angel of God. Nevertheless, the princes of the Philistines have said, He shall not go up with us in battle. Now therefore rise early in the morning with your master's servants who have come with you. And as soon as you're up early in the morning and have light, depart. So David and his men rose early to depart in the morning to return to the land of the Philistines. And the Philistines went up to Jezreel. Now David's original decision to go to the Philistines was ill-advised. It was understandable, but it wasn't wise. It's easily explainable, and yet it's not faithful. Everything was clicking along quite well for David up until now. He's working for a Philistine boss, and he's killing Philistines in his spare time. It reminds me of the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. But now David and his men find themselves in a tight spot. They are lined up to fight against Israel, the people whom God has anointed David to soon shepherd. And now David, who is God's anointed, is about to enter into battle with the Lord's other anointed one, Saul. Remember the one about whom David said, I cannot lay a hand against him? Well, how will David get out of this one? The dialogue here, it's almost funny, because the deceived, Achish, defends his deceiver, David, to the Philistines. And the man who was relieved of his obligation to act against the Lord's anointed, David, disputes his relief. (laughs) God is almost silent, but if you listen, you can hear him. The only mention of God is a throwaway line from a Philistine king. And yet God is at work. The Lord is delivering David from his own stupid decisions. He's protecting the nation of Israel, and he's preserving the integrity of Israel's trust in their future king. And as if that wasn't enough, God is also protecting the birth line of the Messiah. And all of it is happening silently. You know, the story is not a promise to us that God's going to not hold us accountable for or deliver us from the consequences of faithless decisions. But it is proof that God is always with us, ultimately working out everything together for the good. For it is for His good which He ultimately benefits us as well. Believers should take heart here. We can all look back on the timeline of our own lives, and we have no trouble picking out those occasions where we depended upon our own cleverness. And we were sure of our own abilities, and we were confident that we knew the right way. And then it was proved disastrous and nearly destroyed us. And we fear God's mercy has run dry. After all, if the roles were reversed and we were the Lord, our mercy would have withered by now. And then God shows up, and we, like David, learned how God's goodness and mercy truly pursue us all the days of our lives. There's a strong contrast between the endings of chapter 28 and today's uh, chapter. Consider this from 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 24 and 25. Now the woman had a fatted calf, this is the witch of Endor, in the house, and she hastened to kill it, and she took a flour and she kneaded it, and she baked unleavened bread from it. And so she brought it before Saul and his servants, and they ate. And then they arose, and they went away at night. So Saul and his companions trudge off into the darkness without the Lord. Meanwhile, David rides away in the morning, reeling from having experienced God's mercy. You have a choice as to how things go in your life. Choose the Lord. Choose life. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. So if you're being ministered to through the Bible teaching of Groundworks Ministries, and you would like to help us reach this generation with the gospel, would you consider donating to Groundworks Ministries today? Donating is secure and it's easy at our website 
So check us out at groundworksministries.com.